You want us to look at it? Like this? Yeah, so we can both see it. Can you see it? Yeah. to another edition of Co-Create. Today, we're here from beautiful San Francisco. I'm Alejandro Chavetta, the editor-in-chief of Adobe Discover. Today, we have two amazing artists, Jeremy Fish and Tommy Guerrero. Every episode of Co-Create has a theme. For this theme, we have picked fog. And thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Tommy, for having us here today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And super excited about this. And Really, really happy to get started. So we appreciate you letting us on here. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having it here. It's nice to have everybody in my studio. Usually I'm in here all alone. We get to sit here and listen to these guys play some music while I recreate a giant skateboard. And thanks for the opportunity. Nice to be here with everybody and really looking forward to this afternoon. All right, thanks again and let's get started. Cool. All right, thank you.
How's it going over there, Jeremy? Pretty awesome. That was rad, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't normally get to do this kind of thing with yeah. anybody else in the room and or live music. So that was fucking fantastic. Was I awesome. can't tell the difference between the fog and the spray paint fog. Well, the nice thing about masks is we're filtering all of it, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry for the fumes, dudes. No, Fortunately, we have an enormous amount of space in here where it can just kind of float around. and yeah. Yeah, It's all good. I'm, I'm used to the fog. I grew up in it. You know? See? Growing up in the sunset in the city, it's nothing but fog. I remember every summer it was just fog. It was crazy. You, you come over the hill, you come into the mission, you're like, oh. Well, the sun's out. There's sun? Yeah. Wow. What a wild idea. I mean, yeah. seriously, like, I couldn't wait to move out of the sunset just because it was so much fog. I had lived here for a long time before I lived in the sunset. Like, that's where I lived right before I moved here, like, 16 years ago. And it was definitely the kind of neighborhood where you couldn't, you had to prepare. Like, you had to bring layers with you because you didn't know yeah. if it was as cold as where you were when the you layering, left the neighborhood. Yeah. Or, you get on the train, you get to downtown, and it's crazy You're hot. like, oh, shit, yeah. I'm wearing a winter jacket, and it's, yeah. like, yeah. sunny, and everybody else is in shorts. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, you know, you're peeling them like onions. You're just like, oh, the layer is coming off, you know? But, you know, with uh, the planet changing the way it is weather-wise, the year before I moved back over here, <clears throat> it was, like, one of those odd like super super warm sunny winters in the sunset yeah i remember this old man like caned out of his apartment and i lived in an old video store like it was turned into an apartment but it had been a video store so i would just like open the door to the sidewalk and this old man was standing there looking in at me and he's like he's like it's the end of the world when we have warm <laughs> weather like this in the summer he's like something's wrong and i was yeah, like totally. all right man you're like, you know what you're doing. You've been in the sunset longer than the sunset's been its own neighborhood. <laughs> he knows. Yeah, uh, yeah, he had it all figured out. Yeah, no, it's... But I loved it out there. Yeah. All right, we're going to play another tune. Get to it. We're going to play uh, El Camino. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank yeah. you. With a little help of my friend here, Mr. Looper. Thank <laughs> you. 
dudes. That was awesome. That's a traveling song. That's when you get to get on the road and stare into the sun. I look forward to doing some traveling again when the world gets back to normal. Oh my gosh, it'll be amazing. Yeah. I'm sure everybody out there is like, oh, can't wait to get on the road. It's gonna be, you know. Yeah, I'm overdue. Yeah, break up the monotony, the mundane, for sure. How's it come? It's coming pretty good. Right now I'm just layering a bunch of fog. Some clouds, I can't wait to see it. some fog, some spray paint, just kind of building up a layer of the equivalent of the old flames that surround the dagger, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, it's going to be sick. Well, I hope so. Huh. Let's face it, it's a tough act to follow those flames. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that guy's pretty good at his job. Yeah, <laughs> true. VC, the one and only. The best. What do you feel like? I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, signals. Let's do that. Cool.
All right. Sweet. Another nice one. What was that? Uh, that's called Signals from Points Beyond. I have literally, since one of your very first albums, been like listening to this stuff while I make my job. And somewhere in the middle of this, I'll forget for like two seconds, there's a shitload of people here. Because <laughs> it's just literally been the background of what I've been doing for feel like so you're long. Just in the normal zone. Yeah. Once I stop looking at cameras and dudes and <laughs> stuff, and then I realize you guys are playing right next to me, but it's so familiar, you know? That's why I thought this was a cool idea. Awesome. Instead of being nervous or like out of my element, I'm like, where I work normally and listening to something I've been listening to for 20 years while I draw pictures, it's very like satisfying. Thanks, dudes. Yeah, thank you, no, man. Thank you. It's amazing. I mean, we've, we've known each other for quite a while because mm -hmm. you and used to work at Print Time. Since the old 90s. He used to print all the boards. He used to print yeah. a bunch of boards for the company that I wrote, ride for, or rode for, well, when I was professional. My very first job out of college. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. That's insane. Our mutual employers brought me in uh, with a degree in screen printing and some experience in wallpaper, and suddenly I had a dream job. It was like... I'd moved out here to skateboard and go to art school, but mostly skateboard. And the next thing I know, I worked for guys like you and changed my whole life. Sent my career in a different trajectory than I, I have no idea where I'd be if it wasn't for the gentleman that we used to work for. Yeah, no, no doubt. I think we'd all be probably sitting on the corner with a hat out, trying tricks for change. Rest in peace to them both. 100 bucks kickflip, I'm the whole man. <laughs> you know? Never yeah. say never. Could be around the corner. <laughs> exactly. I better get to practice and start busking for doing kickflips and yeah, street maneuvers. Yeah. yeah, after this, we're going to throw the doors open and make people line up and chuck tips. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's going to be a long night, fellas. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, I, we can play the same song for like an hour, no problem. Yeah, so, as you can good. tell. It's super, I... it's super meditative, and that's what I love about it. You know, I love about the monotony and, the, and just having the the dynamics swell around and the melodic, you know, mel melodies change. And, uh, but the foundation remains the same because it, it gets you in this sort of trance-like state. And I appreciate music like that. And I love playing and, you know, I'm just kind of searching around and we're always just like, oh, in the very, very much in the moment. You know, so much of what we do is, is improv. And, in, you know, you're like, oh, you got a chord. All right, let's see what happens. Keeps things, keeps things fresh and fun, you know. Keeps the energy there. It feels like it when I'm listening to it too. Because I it's, listen to all different types of stuff depending on what I'm doing. Like I'll listen to hip hop or something more aggressive when I'm drawing, because it has to be, you gotta be like really on it. But if I'm just fooling or experimenting or playing, it's nicer to listen to stuff like this, because it's not so like, uh, it's kind of going all over the place yeah. and so am I at the same time. So it's uh, It's cool, we've got the little baby monitor here watching you from the yeah. aerial view, so. We do. It's, we can kind of react to your movement. Feel too, free so. to boo at any time. It's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty rad. It's just like little brother, you know? We're yeah. like, we, we see you, we see what you're doing over we there. We see the clouds forming. The fog. They're coming. They're almost there. I'm getting towards an exciting part. All right. And now I'm letting it dry, and I'm just going to sit here and cheer. And <laughs> We're going to try to get excited. Do the wave by myself. Let's do uh, paper switchblades. You want to do okay. that? Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see. How do we start this thing? I think you just drop the beat. Oh. Uh -huh.
Hell yeah, dudes. That was awesome. <laughs> wow. Hey, live dub out. My glasses Stony. are I think it's like up. I think it's 420, isn't it? Somewhere. Seriously. It I think like it just. It I think it just was. With all the fog. This is how it is in here most of the time. <laughs> yeah. The fog rolls in and doesn't leave. My glasses are fogging up just to kind of stay in line with the theme. Yeah. How's it going now? It's going good, man. I'm at the point where I'm watching paint dry and just enjoying you guys. Right on. Oh, man, you got the screen set up, though. You know, I thought, how are you going to make a, a skateboard, a giant one, and not have it involve the, the whole reason we know each other, you know? Yeah. And I also thought, like, when I do these kind of things, there needs to be some kind of, like, look, it turned into something. And so if this next part goes terribly, whoever's watching will just have to forgive me because this isn't the sort of thing you do live first try, but... <laughs> It's the reveal, man. Yeah, yeah. it's the reveal. It exactly. Is. It's going to be amazing. But I am excited about it. And, I'm excited uh, to see it. Like I said, nice to have a soundtrack, even if I screw up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're far too of a perfectionist to screw up, dude. Yeah, I doubt that. Yeah. If I screw up, I'll just print all over the thing, and we'll call it abstract. Let's get, uh, uh, just get wild with it, you know? You're an artist. You just say, I meant to do that, yeah. no matter what happened. Exactly. I just wasn't, blew my cover just now. Yeah. Wasn't Jackson Pollock, didn't he, like, you know, wasn't he the guy who splattered paint and threw it yeah. everywhere? Yeah. Just get Drizzled, wild. splattered, just, chopped. Just, just go yeah. for it. Fuck it. Yeah, that's a good point. If this doesn't go well, that's where I'll head. I'll just the, yes. start. Yes. Yes. For sure. Might even get up and dance on it. Now, I, I'd pay money for that. I'd really? pay to see that. I mean, you know, the, the, the condor is down the block, so. Hey, you know. Yeah. I was a professional backup dancer for a number of years. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, so what do you got going now? You're going to put the, the ink on the screen? This is some delightful speedball black ink. My favorite solid dark black. The weapon of choice? I made some fog oh, and then I laid insane. down, I took the film to burn the screen, cut out the middle of it, which would have been the fill color if we were printing this. Yep. Uh, made myself a fill color. Now I'm kind of waiting for it to dry so it doesn't stick to the screen. And then sometime, probably during the next song, when I'm sure it's dry, I'll just kind of put a little more fog wrapping around it, you know, so it looks like the original. Got to have some flames coming up over Dude, the that's dagger. A, that's going to be that. amazing. It's awesome. But yeah, that's my hope. Where'd you uh, burn the screen? Uh, the Hate Street Art Center, where oh. my statue lives. Very cool. The uh, home of uh, an art center that was designed to preserve San Francisco's tradition of the printed rock poster. Yeah. yeah. Which is one of those things that opened in the last few years where you just couldn't believe it. That's Shout out to the 8th Street Art Center and thank yeah. you for burning my screen and letting me have a giant statue out front. All in the family. And most importantly, preserving San Francisco's history of the printed rock poster, which is yeah. important. I'm a fan. Sorry. I mean, you know, is it Mouse and Rick Griffin? And yeah, there's all, actually a Stanley Mouse show on display cats. right now, like his life's work that hasn't been able to open. So anyone listening to this, if you love Stanley Mouse, when and if it does open, you have to make a reservation and get in there and see that. Cause it's like, you know, the guy's entire life's work, not just the stuff that he's known for, like the Grateful Dead work, but like, you know, yeah. some of his hot rod stuff from early on, he's from Detroit. Uh, wow. It's just like, I go in there once in a while cause they let me sneak in and it's just a view into like one of the greatest artists in the history of the city. I got to check it out. Yeah. That's amazing. That's insane. I'll let you know as soon as they start uh, letting people in again, because it's like, it's just sad. They installed it, set it up, and then all this happened. So he's, uh, I don't know, you don't get a lot of opportunities to show your entire life's work. So uh, shout out to Stanley. He's a yeah. great guy, someone yeah. that really is very influential to me and billions of other artists. Of course. So, uh, yeah, a real San Francisco legend. I would like to, you know, I'd like to dedicate your next song to Stanley Mouse. <laughs> there you go. You got any objection to that, fellas? I have none. I have zero. Not at all. No, no objection. Let's do uh Should we do the new one for the new record? Oh yeah, let's see that. Let's try that. Thanks, dude. So let's see what happens. This is uh, from the new album. Um, by the Sea at the End of the World. It's the first song off the new record, Sunshine Radio, that I released uh, last month. And uh, yeah, just, you know, continuing to make music and do what I do. I don't know what else to do. What else am I gonna do? I went and skated last weekend and my knee is, this whole week we're like, no, you're not skating for like, <laughs> two weeks at least at this point they're so jacked and it's you know it's such a bummer she's like ah you still have that you know that little bit of flame in there you're like i want to go skate and your body's like no, no old man sit down so then i you know okay i'll, I'll sit here and goof around and write a song instead. that's to fill in the gaps between when your knees are cooperating and when they're not you know that that's right i mean they, they have like this personal coup happening in my body you know? <laughs> they're just like they're on strike your knees are trying to remind you that you're good at a lot of stuff, you know? 
when you can't skateboard, pick up some other stuff you're good at and, you know. You got, you got to have something else, yeah. otherwise you go crazy. I go crazy, anyway. You know, you got to stay creative. That's all I Shout out to those knees. Thanks for hanging in there, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my knees, they're still attached. Yeah. Sick. Way to keep going. <laughs> Elevate, dude. Elevate. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, right. Oh, ele oh, that's right. Elevation, right? It's mostly ice. I do heat on the back every morning, and then I do uh, ice on the knees. So, you know, a little hot and cold. Kind of like life. <laughs> <laughs>
Victory, bros. Is that foggy? That is awesome. It's looking foggy, you know? Do we got a, do we got a time check? Where we, oh, shit, you did it. Oh. I missed the roof. Ah, I missed you screening it. I was lost in the fog. Oh, dude, that's amazing. Thanks, that man. That was rad. Dustin and Dwayne would be proud of me. That Pull is, that oh. thing without screwing up. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's incredible. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Like I said, it's not something like, you know, it's something different that I wouldn't do all, every day, but yeah. that's kind of what made it fun. I also don't hang out back here with you guys very yeah. often either, so I thought, you know. So that's going to change. We're, you didn't hear we're moving in? Yeah. Oh, just, fantastic. Yeah. thought we're I was crashing leaving. in the creepy basement. I'm into it. Yeah, could use some <laughs> we're just, roommates. We're just leaving all this stuff here? We just got to yeah. always stay this far apart from each other yeah, and yell exactly. all the time, but I'm into it. That's cool. That's fine. We can manage I really that. appreciate you guys coming here for this. No, thank oh, you dude. for having us. Like Thanks, I said, uh, I don't Thanks know how long I have this space for, so it's just one of those things I'll always remember and nights of Adobe to record it and let us get in here and get down. Yeah, yeah. super cool. Yeah, super grateful for the opportunity to do this. It's amazing. That's I, insane. That's awesome. That's a present, by the way. You get to keep that. Thank you. you mean, Slash, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but know. yeah, thanks for that giant thing. Now i got to learn to surf or something. Yeah, I think, you know, get, just get some massive trucks. Some 215s. 315s, I think you're going to need. Better, we better talk to Indy. Yeah, seriously, you know a guy that knows a guy. I know, we know some guys. We need some custom gigantic trucks, yeah. please. <laughs> listen, I'm going to pick up the phone and say, listen, I just need, I need some big giant trucks here. What do you, what do you think? What do you got? I don't use a lot of spray paint, it stinks, but I just, everything dries so slow. Yeah. It seemed like a good fit, and it's like thin and foggy and. Oh, it made perfect Very sense. Cool, man. Dude, that's amazing. Did you, did you think of all of this prior? I mean, were you, as far as like how you were going to approach it? No. I mean, I made some stencils that looked like fog, and sure. I knew I'd paint some clouds by hand, and I didn't know how fast anything was going to dry. So. Right. Uh, but yeah. I just kind of knew I wanted to make it look like your first, or not your first, but one of the early boards. Yeah. And, but not so much that VCJ would give me a call and be mad, you know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it's, I'm really happy with it. You know, we're, like I said from the beginning, we're walking distance from the waterfront, you know what I mean? Like the, the theme was kind of kooky, but at the same time, I mean, literally, like it's that time of day. It's rolling in right now. You can yeah. feel oh, the yeah. lights changing. Oh, yeah. And I just thought, like, you know, listening to you guys play some jams, painting some fog, letting it get kind of foggy in here. It's perfect. Multiple it's capacities. Great. It's fucking awesome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. That was awesome. I'm Are so stoked. I, I can't tell you how happy I am about this. Josh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank Tommy. you. Tommy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I, I would say this is one of my favorite performances. I, I'm, I love the space. I love the vibe. I feel like... Your music, I've listened to it for a long time, and it's just like to hear you play live and just to see you work, that was just like, boom. It, it was pretty amazing. Thanks, man. Like I said, it was a wonderful opportunity. I appreciate you guys making it happen. Heck yeah. Thank you. And you know, you know, you just released an album, Sunshine Radio. We want to make sure that folks go and check it out because it's a fabulous album. So thank you. Thanks again, guys, for, for doing this. And uh, we'll do it again, I'm pretty sure. And I hope so. We'll love to see what you made. Yeah, that's thank incredible. You. All right, we'll get some big trucks for that thing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Stay safe, stay creative, and join us next time. Bye. Oh, it's a kind of sideways, <laughs> huh? Like it's that. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. You guys did awesome.